in three, two, one. B, C, C. The answer is A. <laughs> a, A, A. That one is actually true. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Why did we think that was a thing? I thought it was a trick. Oh, oh. Was a trick. B. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> actually only has 16 cats in it. 16 cats featured. Hello turkeys and welcome to Two Truths One Lie Cat Facts Edition. Woo! The game is simple. I'm going to state three cat facts, two of which will be true and one will be a lie. Your job is to write down which one is the lie. So that's what you're writing down. Okay, so if you're following the Happening Meow on Instagram and Twitter at Happening Meow with two W's, <laughs> You'll have an advantage as some of these facts have been featured on hashtag cat fact Friday. So that's that's so you guys follow my <laughs> Instagram and you'll know these facts. So today I am joined by Izzy. Erica. <laughs> P-Ron. <laughs> <-Ron>. oh. <laughs> nice. And I'll be keeping score to see how well they know cats. Okay, the first question. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Black cats and luck. In other parts of the world, black hats are actually seen as good luck. Which statement is false? A. In Japan, a single woman who owns a black cat is said to attract more suitors. B. In Britain, sailors would bring ca cats aboard their ships. Or C. Uh, on the Isle of Man, which is where Manx cats originated, the first Manx cat is generally believed to have been a black cat, so black cats are seen as lucky. A, B, or C. I'm gonna give you guys a little time. I saw this. You saw this? <laughs> oh yeah, right. I did actually put this up on my Instagram and Twitter. So. Oh, but what was the second one again? The second one, B. In Britain, sailors would bring cats aboard their ships. <laughs> Stop peeking! <laughs> I'm not. Erica's fully showing me. Mm. Oh the, my. Why are you looking? I'm not even showing you. <laughs> on the count of three, reveal your answers. One, two, three. I don't know. B, B, Oops. and C. The answer is C. Oh, damn it. Oh, I was like, that's too specific. But then I was like, ooh. Yeah. Uh, the Isle of Man is where Manx cats originated, but there's no like specific thing about it was black or blah, blah, blah. But the other two are true. Damn it. Oops, for sure. okay. I think the first one was for sure. <laughs> the second one, um, cat genders. Is it A, there are more male black cats than females. B, there are more male ginger cats than females. Or C, there are more female calico cats than males. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. A, A, A. That one is actually true. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I thought you were like, that one's wrong. right. <laughs> uh, male cats get their coat coloring from their moms. So if their mom is black, they are very likely to be black. So that's why there are more male black cats. So um, which one was false? The false one was B. There are more male ginger cats than females. Um, although it does seem like that, there's no actual like scientific thing behind that. And then calico cats, as many of you probably know, um, you need two X chromosomes to make the calico cat Oops. coloring. So it's very rare to get a, a male who has that gene. The third question is about cat cafes. So, is it A, the first cat cafe was in Taiwan, B, there is a cat cafe dedicated to black cats, C, there is a cat cafe dedicated to cats who play musical instruments? Which one do you think is false? This one's a trick. Yeah, which one do you think is false? What's the first one again? The first one is, the first cat cafe was in Taiwan. Oh, I can't. Unless, yeah. Unless. Oh my god. <laughs> In one, two, three. You guys said A. That is actually true. Damn it. Oh my wow. god. I swear it was Japan. Oh yeah, god. same. <laughs> the first cat cafe was in Taipei, Taiwan. It really took off in Japan, though. But the first one was in Taiwan. Uh, C is the false one. There is no cat cafe dedicated to cats who play musical Why did we think that was a thing? I was like... I thought it was a trick. <laughs> yes. Um, and there is a cat cafe in Japan that is dedicated to only black cats. And I think, oh, they all have like different collars, so you can tell like which 
Which one is which? Because well, they all look the same. That's not me. That's, that's so <laughs> that's bad. That's racist. That's racist. That's racist. That's another game I want to play. As I'm going to show you guys a bunch of black cats, and you have to figure out who is. Oh who. my god. But like another time. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> okay. So wait, did anyone get any? I didn't. No. Nope. Carrie got, got one. one. Oh, one. <laughs> I write that off my head. <laughs> right, number five, cat coats. Is it a? Sphinx cats don't have fur coats and must be kept warm at all times. B, a black cat's fur can change color. C, Siamese cats are born white. Which one do you think is the false one? Well, I can't believe I'm getting you guys. <laughs> Damn it. That's what you think. Yeah, sure. I knew all these all along. I'm just joking. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. In one, two, three. B, C, and B. The false one is a what <laughs> sorry this was kind of a trick so i said sphinx cats don't have fur coats and must be kept warm at all times their body temperature is actually four degrees warmer than a typical feline so they're already quite warm um uh, a black cat's fur can change if it has like a gene in it basically and if it's exposed to enough sunlight the fur will change colors and Siamese cats are indeed born white and it has to do with temperature again if they're in like a uh, Russian scientist discovered in the 1930s that Siamese kittens kept in very warm rooms didn't develop the breed signature dark patches hmm. so they have to be cold in, other, in order to produce the gene that makes their fur darker so yeah cats <laughs> These are, I guess these are too hard. Sorry guys. Pretty hard. I should, have, I should have picked some like easy ones. Okay. Uh, the next one is about cats and celebrities. Ooh. So is it a Ernest Hemingway liked polydactyl cats, which are cats that have extra toes and collected them in his home in Florida. As many as 50 cats roam the Hemingway house today. Is it B Freddie Mercury had at least 10 cats at once in his life making sure they all had stockings filled with treats at Christmas? Or is it C, Andy Warhol had 25 cats, all named Sam, when he lived in his, with his mother in New York before he made it big. He and his mom published a book titled 25 Cats Named Sam and One Blue Pussy. What? So which one do you think is the That's false? Oddly specific. Yeah, these are so specific. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's because people are weird about their cats, so. So which one do you think is the false one? Ernest Hemingway, Fr Freddie Mercury, Andy Warhol. These are all cat lovers, but one of the facts is wrong. Three, two, one. B, B, and C. The answer is B. Oh, oh my God, finally. <laughs> yeah. uh, Freddie Mercury did have 10 cats, but they were throughout his life, not at one time. Uh. So I did emphasize at once. Yeah. Are I know this. Yeah. I was like, he's too busy for cats. <laughs> he's too busy for cats. Um, yeah, Ernest Hemingway does have a house that has a bunch of polydactyl yeah, cats, and Andy Warhol has a book published, Twenty Five Cats Named Sam, uh, which actually only has sixteen cats in it. Sixteen cats featured. So the next one is about famous cats. So is it A? Japan has a cat who manages a train station. B, a town in Alaska in Alaska had a cat for a mare for 20 years. C, the UK has an official mouser residing over the Lord Chancellor's home. Oh, oh what? <laughs> what? As if you like, no. Wait, what's the first one again? The first one is uh, Japan has a cat who manages a train station. Oh, be totally true. True. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. In three, two, one. A, B, C. <laughs> so the answer is C. Damn it. Um, the UK has an official mouser I who. That was true. Okay, sorry. That is true, but it resides in the cabinet office. Yeah, didn't you know that? Come on. <laughs> that is so. <laughs> sorry, I did <don't> <laughs> Yes, Japan has a cat who manages a train station, a seven year old calico cat named Natama. Um, a town in Alaska had a cat for a mare for 20 years. His name was Stubbs. Stubbs. Oh, and it's, God. it's like a historical site. It's not really a town, so it doesn't really have a mare, <laughs> but he was a mare. And yeah, the UK is an official mouser. His, his title is Chief Mouser to the Cabinet Office, um, and his name is Larry. Larry. Oh, it's my physics teacher's name. He must Ooh. be the cat.
Yeah, he must be the chief mouser. Yeah. No, he's winning. I got two. Oh, wait, you have two now. Two, bro. Okay. Okay, so this question is about cat healing. Is it A, a cat's purr can promote healing? B, black cats can carry a gene that makes them immune to feline immunodeficiency virus? Or C, owning a cat can actually lower one's risk of various brain diseases? Which one do you think it is? A, B, or C? What's A? A is a cat's purr can promote healing in the cat themselves. Oh. Oh, in the cat. It's okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. In three, oh sorry, two, one. Show me your answers. C, A, B. The wow. answer is cat. C. Uh. Yes! <laughs> uh, owning a cat can actually lower one's risk of heart diseases, not brain disease. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, uh, a cat has the power to sometimes heal themselves by purring. Um, it, it purrs between a frequency, which is also the frequency that repairs muscles and bones. I heard that. Yeah. Oh, we should purr more, know. guys. We should all purr. We should all purr. I was thinking cats would help with like Alzheimer's or something. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Cat bodies part two, which is what I have. Okay, so is it A, the bits of fur on the inside of a cat's ears are called ear trappings. B, a cat's nose is as unique as a fingerprint. C. Female cats are usually right pod, and male cats are usually left pod. Whoa. Oof. Mm. Yeah, these are all hard. I don't think you would. <laughs> Unless you, like, know. Unless you know. Okay. Unless you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? In three, two, one. B, C, C. The answer is A. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Damn it. Wow. Oh, we're so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, a cat's nose is as unique as a fingerprint, and there have been a few studies that have showed that cats, uh, female cats generally prefer their right pod, and male cats are left pod, and cats do have a paw that they prefer, which is interesting. Oh, and the, the bits of fur on the inside of a cat's ears are called ear furnishings. Not ear furnishings. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Gross. It's also like... This is so hard. I'm so sorry, guys. The next question is, crazy cat people. Sorry, is it A, there are more pet cats than pet dogs in the US? Is it B, Japan, known for the love of cute cats, actually prefers dogs as pets? Um, or is it C, ancient Egyptians used to shave off their eyebrows to mourn their dead cats? Jeez. So, is it A, B, or C? I heard of the last one, but... C, you want me to read it? Or? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, oh, I, was just thinking, I was just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. I was yeah, going to go for it too, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. What'd you say? I'm just going to go for it. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, just, just going for it. Okay, here we go, guys. In three, two, one, C, A, <laughs> B. The answer is B. Damn it! But actually, um, you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> you're all wrong. Excuse me. Wait, wait. It was E, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah. The number of cats kept as pets surpassed dogs only last year. Mm. So up until last year, Japan did prefer dogs, but now they prefer cats. Look at that. Interesting. Because cats are the best. Uh, yeah. So how many points do you all have? Because I forgot. I got three. One. Wow. So our winner is Aaron. Yay. <laughs> Cat facts galore. It's probably because I tell you cat facts probably. like all the time. That's true. Probably. Yeah. Maybe. No. No. He just knew. He was just so, so smart. I'm studying. Thank you guys for playing the first edition of Two Truths One Lie. Yay. Yay. Well, you know what? I learned a lot. So. Okay. So there's like an arts collective called Project Forty, and due to Doug Ford's arts cuts, they have no money. So. Go to their Facebook page, Instagram, whatever, if you want to donate money because they help a lot of Asian Canadian artists in the community. Okay. That's a, that's a good one. Oh, wait, no, I have one. Please also visit And Then It Hit Us, which is my sister's business, um, promoting healing through talking about, um, for, for mostly for victims who have been in like car accidents or car, um, you know, motorcycle accidents, things like that, um, but also through surgeries. And it's supposed to build a tight-knit community of people who just want to support each other um, mentally and physically. So yeah. check it out, and then it hit us. Generally just 
Paper news, subscribe to magazines, buy newspapers. It's, it's worth it, I promise. I'll put all the links in the description. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more cat content. And as always, keep learning about cats. Yay!